In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the greatest title. In order to get this title, you must deal a total of 100 million damage. It may sound like a lot, but you can actually get the title completely AFK if you follow my instructions correctly. I recommend for you to get this title as soon as you watch the video before the method gets patched. To get the title, you will need Swamp BDA along with 60 Mastery in order to use all of its abilities. Having a Warfan or a clan like Hashibira with double jump will also make it easier. First, use the Horse Guy to go to Kiri Bathing Village in Map 1. Turn around and follow this direction. Once you reach here, equip your war fence and zoom your camera all the way out and point the camera down. Put yourself against the wall and put your mouse right here. Use your war fan X and use C on your swamp ability. Double jump and use X with swamp right here. Run towards the ledge and double jump again to get on top of the cliff. Now you will have to wait for the cooldowns on your abilities. Once your cooldown's over, this is where it gets tricky. You might need to practice a few times before successfully doing this. When you're ready, turn on shift lock, equip your fans and press X. Double jump, dash and switch to swamp holding the V ability in the air. You can delay the activation of your ability by holding the key so your other abilities have time to regenerate. Release V, dash and hold C while pointing your cursor as far away from yourself as possible. Once you think you are far enough, release it, dash and hold B. When you are ready, release and dash again. If you pay attention closely, there should be an invisible wall preventing you from dashing further. This is how you know you reached the invisible barrier. Now press X and hold it. Make your camera turn around and face 45 degrees to the left. You should see a red cursor zooming in and out of your screen. The cursor needs to be inside the barrier and positioned as far away from your character as possible. You have 5 seconds to position yourself correctly before the ability automatically executes. When you think it's good enough, release it and you should pass through the barrier. Immediately hold N afterwards and continue holding it until it runs out. Switch to your fan when the ability runs out and hold Z. Hold it for as long as you can because you want to make sure all the abilities cooldowns are over. Switch to Swamp and hold whichever ability that are available and repeat the process until you land on the base plate. Congratulations, now you have made it to the base plate. If you follow the direction I'm going, you should see multiple NPCs that have the name op underscore NPC on them. These are the NPCs that you will have to deal damage to to get the title. They have unlimited HP so you can damage them endlessly. There are a total of 13 NPCs on the base plate. Simply gather them up and either M1 combo or fan them to the direction I'm heading. I will show you where all the NPCs are so just follow me. If you haven't, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers so it would mean a lot to me. So this is the 11th NPC right here. Now we are going to knock them all into this spot over here. Bunch them together and push them all to the spot. After you have bunched them up nicely, now we are going to get the 12th NPC. Push him to the same spot where all the other NPCs are located. Now we are going to M1 combo all the NPCs into this corner here. There are other NPCs over here but don't use them because they don't have unlimited HP. The final NPC is located over here so let's bring them to the corner. When you have all the NPCs together, you can stand here and turn on your auto clicker. Leave it on for like 1 to 2 nights and you should get the title easily. Make sure to position yourself where you can hit all the NPCs. You can tell how many you hit by looking at the counter on the left side of your screen. 
It is also recommended to wear damage gear to buff your M1 damage. I am using blue hat, tigress mask, red scarf, akaza top and bottom, and rengoku harui to buff my damage. If you don't have akaza set, you can use either devourer set or polar set. Use your weapon instead of using your fist because weapon does way more damage than the fist. Higher damage equals faster progress. If you want to calculate how long it would take you to receive the title, turn on your auto clicker and wait for 1 minute. After 1 minute, you can look at the DPS counter at the bottom left of your screen. This tells you how much damage you have done. If you multiply this number by 60, then you can find out how many damage you can do in an hour. You can then divide 100 million by that number and this will tell you how many hours it would take for you to get the title. Just leave the auto clicker on overnight and you should get it in within 1 to 2 days. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out my Discord, Twitch and TikTok in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!